I put artisanal it's... cheese, and those mites turn up on lots of other cheeses that we yeah. uh, love very dearly. There are certain yeah. cheddars, they have to get them off. Yeah. What's interesting about this one is they keep them because they believe it improves the flavour. No, they're lazy. They're lazy. That's <laughs> a filthy cheddar, is that what that is? <laughs> are you a cheese man yourself? What is your favourite cheese? Um, I... Oh, no, that's not good, is it? Well, oh, well, well luckily, kind of interesting. luckily the happened. long evenings yeah. have come. The so. mites have, the <laughs> mites have come. We're, oh, hey. We're having a little bit of bother with our lighting desk at the moment. Let's put another shilling in the meter. <laughs> right, I'm <okay. laughs> And it's my privilege, indeed, my secret lifelong ambition, to bring you Outtake TV. Yes, this is the show that uses the really embarrassing bits of telly that celebrities make with all their gaffes and clumsy mistakes. Unless they're done by Jeremy Clarkson, who keeps his and calls it Top Gear. <laughs> True, true story. No. <laughs> Obviously, things don't always go as planned on TV. Sometimes something really unexpected happens. Something explodes, somebody swears on CBeebies, or, shock horror, somebody laughs on EastEnders. <laughs> Are you still in there, Phil? What? Why'd you pretend everything was fine and dandy? You just don't get this, do you? Sorry? She's happy, and that's what this is all about. <laughs> Fetch boy. That's <laughs> <laughs> wrong. Isn't it? <laughs> wrong. Oi, is that Renee? Come on, Sam. If anyone sees you. All right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor, I don't know if um, I don't know if you know the ins and outs of what happened. I don't. Yeah, the police must have filled me. I'm afraid not. All we're concerned about is getting you well again. Yeah, but you, your stuff, I mean, you got theories, you must have. The wound in your abdomen's <laughs> healing well. <laughs> not doing well, though, yeah. You're doing well between the beats. Right, yeah. Don't! He said he loved me. He did! Well, why would he do this to me? What well, do what to do? He you... was there, he saw what a state I was in after the day. He said, Barry loved me so much. Then why would he put me through? <laughs> Put me in a nappy, perhaps. We can't afford nappies. No, Janet's not working. I've got my line wrong again. <laughs> no, no, no. It's as clear as day. Look, will you marry me? <laughs> Maybe I'm just too clever. <laughs> yeah, that, that's probably it, love. It took me ages to cut that sheep's head out. <laughs> <laughs> Women want to be proposed to romantically. Gaz, you should let me help you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm asking you these things because when I said those vows, no, he, before that, when we got engaged, you know, when, when you proposed, I just... I can't quite remember what I was going to say. <laughs> so, if somebody could tell me a line, I'd really appreciate it. Can't talk because you've got a mouthful of fruit. Tomorrow, we'll be live on the deck of HMS Illustrious, which is anchored on the River Thames at Greenwich for the Royal Navy's celebrations. Wasn't it a good piece by Richard? It was Richard? a great piece. I'm just eating a piece of melon, which I tend to do at this time. It keeps my sugar levels up. Lights are set, but what is a Christmas tree without a star to top it off? Well, this one has been lighting trees on Trafalgar Square for the past 10 years, 10 years, 10 years, 10 years, 10 years. Well, this one has been lighting trees on Trafalgar Square for the past 10 years. I think it's time to put it in its rightful place. OK, here he goes. the star. Oh my goodness. I've actually just dropped the star. How long have you been? <laughs> 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 no, no, he's a bit off. Okay. Okay. There okay. you go. 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 This, this may last about two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to treat? Do you want to treat? <laughs> <laughs> How long have you had these? <laughs> I've had him. <laughs> now, Bailey, what? what's wrong? Oh, I twisted. Oh, unlike unlike the most, they're not looking television. Tails, there's here. All right, all right, Max. Oh, Max. That's your own picture. You're barking up for it. Max, Max, she's looking at the screen. 
I'd do something else. <laughs> I'd go to something else. We're going to let them go. We're going to let them go. <laughs> <laughs> right. Decline of the picture postcard. It's presented by Claire Grogan. Can we run that VT now, please? Graham Norton there trying to keep control while a couple of old dogs howl tunelessly. It's like the early rounds of I'd Do Anything. <laughs> now, a confused Labradoodle was always going to cause problems. Modern technology, on the other hand, well, <laughs> that is absolutely foolproof. <laughs> Welcome to BBC World News. I'm Nick Gowing, also in this programme. How rising food prices affect people all over the world. And the price of passion. A British man and woman jailed for three months in Dubai. Needs to kind of start foaming before we get anything in. So, Kerry's first job, if you want to break all those eggs into that bowl... <laughs> <laughs> We may need to work on your technique. That's really easy. But what about reverse altitude coming down? Is there any any effects of that? Do you get kind of giddy or...? Yeah, well, no, the giddiness you get on the way up, right. the lack of oxygen. Um, is that it? Absolutely wow. perfect. Beautiful. Didn't know I could do that. Ooh. Oh. 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 That wasn't me. That wasn't me. The monster. Oh. <laughs> Stop right. already. Stop it. It's all right. <laughs> Don't worry about it. OK. Ronan? Yeah. Simon Rinner there, remixing something by Ronan Keating. Oh, yes, he's multi-talented. It's not just in the kitchen he can screw things up. I will say, I, I had a go on it when it was working earlier, and it's, I wrote it from one end of the it. studio down to the other, other end, and it was absolute brilliant fun. It's really fast. It was it's really, it's but really it's fast. quite a long... It's got a, a long circle. turning radius. All right, get on oh, it and go. There there go. Okay, it's very, connected. very heavy, and you can generally only go forwards. But you can There's go forwards. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's so, if you've ever wondered what John Barrowman would look like if he'd seen the funniest thing ever in the world, this is it. <laughs> and they say saying goodbye is the hardest thing to do, which is, quite frankly, rubbish. What about giving birth or, I don't know, unicycling? Still, this lot either do it reluctantly or badly, starting with a reporter who I suspect may be getting it wrong deliberately. Last year there were signs that large salmon were returning to the Tay after a long absence. There are predictions now that we could see fish as large as 40 pounds being caught here for the first time in a long time, and that would be cause for celebration. Alan Grad, robotics <laughs> <laughs> Last year there were signs that large salmon were returning to the Tay after a long absence. There are predictions this year that we could see fish as large as 40 pounds being caught, and that would be cause for celebration. Alan Grant, reporting Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're not... I'm afraid that's your lot. Michael's off to Annabelle's, he's one of these sort of posh folk. <laughs> Diane's going back to visit her old boarding school. It's approved, you know. <laughs> and I'm going to have an early morning walk in the park. At least that's what I'll be telling the police. Night and night. <laughs> that's all for News Night tonight. Uh, Martha's being punished for some offence in her previous life by presenting tomorrow's programme. In the meantime, it's all available again on the website, along with our editor's pathetic pleas for you to send some of us your old bits of home movie and the like, so we can become the BBC's version of Animals Do the Funniest Things. <laughs> and why not? Animals Do the Funniest Things is ITV's version of Newsnight. Though, to be fair, whilst Paxman says that, if an animal did something weird to a politician, he'd be all over it. <laughs> now, I can't promise you that for next time, but I can promise you another brilliant crop of outtakes. So, until then, ta-da!